Yo, what's up guys, Sitko Golem here, welcome to this new episode. They already nerfed Goblinstein, which in my opinion was definitely necessary, but it's crazy to think that the Goblinstein has been out for a couple of days only, and now they already nerfed it, so as you guys can see here. Balance changes, Goblinstein, Lightning Link Duration reduced from 5 seconds to 4 seconds, minus 20%, Lightning Link Crown Tower Damage reduced from 71 to 46, minus 36%, so that's a lot of, yeah, quite a big change. And the Lightning Link Cooldown increased from 15 seconds to 17 seconds, so in today's video, what we're gonna do is try out the new Goblinstein, see if these balance changes actually fix the problem, because in my opinion, it was definitely, yeah, by far the most broken champion, the best champion in the game. Is it still the best champion, or did the nerf affect it quite a lot? Okay, guys, hopping into game number one. So as I said, is it gonna yeah, still be a strong champion? Is it still gonna be very meta? Because now, basically, every deck, I even got a lot of comments saying under my videos, okay, every, every YouTube video, every YouTuber I watch, it's just Goblinstein, Goblinstein, um, and honestly, I couldn't really do anything else. Like, if you guys know my channel, I usually try to bring the best meta decks, the strongest meta decks, and of course, if in this case the, the Goblinstein is this strong, I'm kind of forced to, yeah, make content about it. So, look, we're up against the Pekka player, I think it is. He just went very aggressive, so I think we should be able to punish him here. Not sure if he's back to Electro Wizard. If he is, I think he might be able to get a decent Electro Wizard and kind of save um, yeah, a lot of damage. But looks like he's not, and he is going to take a lot of damage. He just went with all of his elixir at the bridge. By the way, I did try to um, kind of change my lighting a little bit. Also, I'm trying to look to upgrade my setup by buying, for example, a new camera, a new webcam. I'm trying to yeah, slowly but surely improve my, my setup for you guys. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think I should improve or what do you guys think I should yeah, maybe change um in general to be able to to make better videos for you guys by the way thank you all so much for the support it's crazy to see yeah, how much support i've been getting on the last couple of videos definitely makes me very motivated to to continue grinding the content every day for you guys and try to make the best videos possible so let's focus on this match in the meantime we already de delved so much damage to his left side tower and let's actually see if we can um well i guess we should be able to take down the tower i wonder how much damage it still does like, for example, in this situation, okay, I guess it deals a little bit less damage. Maybe there it was a little bit noticeable, but honestly, for two elixir, we were still able to take down the tower from very far away. We also killed the Electro Wizard, so I'm not sure, like, is it really gonna fix the Goblin Stein? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the current state of the Goblin Stein and if you guys already tried the new balance changes, but in my opinion... It's still gonna be a really strong concept, like just the concept, the concept of it being able to get so much damage onto troops from being far away. Just in general, I feel like it, it, the concept itself is already kind of broken. So I'm not sure if they're able to fix it with just the balance changes they did today, or are they gonna um, need something else? By the way, in my opinion, Pekka has to also be nerfed. I don't know if you guys agree with this, but man, uh, Pekka is so broken. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is go Goblinstein here on defense to tank, and then afterwards, if necessary, I can pop the ability, but I don't even think we need it. We still have the um, yeah, Evil Mortar helping out. We still have the Goblin there, so I'm gonna go with the Cannon Card. Plus the Goblin Gang, and at this point, I think we pretty much secured the um, yeah, first W here. I was thinking that it's Pekka, but I guess it's just like a, a Bridge Pem deck, right? He didn't even show Pekka at all. I guess it's just like a, a pretty typical Bridge Pem deck. We should have a, a pretty nice and easy win here. So as you guys can see, we are going to get the 3 crown. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, let's go guys. Hoping into game number 2. Honestly, in game number 1, I feel like we didn't really get to try out the ability in a, yeah, how do you say, like in a good way, in a good situation, for example, defensively, offensively, we pretty much yeah, got the tower in the first minute without really having to um, use the Goblin Stein. So let's see if in this match we can get to use the Goblin Stein a little bit more, maybe offensively, defensively. Honestly, the Goblin Stein is very, how do you say, versatile, like sometimes it's amazing offensively, sometimes it's amazing defensively. It really does depend on kind of the matchup and the situation. Okay, let's see. Looks like he does go with a poison. I think the Goblin Stein is going to make it to the tower. Is that onto the tower? I'm not sure. Anyways, he's not even going to use the ability, so that's good for us. And let's in the meantime go with a Mortar here. I'm not sure if he has something like a cannon. Um, okay, looks like he has a Tesla, so I'm going to go Spear Goblins. And then I'm going to go Bats trying to protect the Mortar as much as possible, knowing that the Tesla's out of cycle. Let's go with the Goblin Stein, and let's see if in this situation we can yeah, maybe notice the nerf. Maybe, I don't know, not get as much damage as before. Let's see. Okay, the Goblin Stein does make it to the tower. Let's pop the ability, let's see how much damage it has on the right side tower, but I mean, look at that, guys, it's still... Is that really a nerf? I mean, I kind of see the difference. I think the um, duration, like, that it's less time duration, it's definitely noticeable, but we still, yeah, dealt so much damage to his right side tower. 1,604 HP left on the right side tower. He's also using Goblin Stein, by the way, so it's not like, yeah, no one is going to use the Goblin Stein anymore, but I definitely think it's, it's maybe going to change a little bit, but honestly... 
I haven't really noticed it different that much yet. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys see something like really different. But personally, myself, I don't know. I, I haven't really found like the, the huge difference maker. Okay, let's in the meantime go with a Mortar here supporting the Kenikar. Looks like he does go with a Goblin Stein, which I think he's gonna pop the ability exactly. So no point of me dropping another troop into or on top of the, the Goblin Stein's monster. And then I think we should just leave it like this for now. Okay, so I guess he's... Yeah, I think he showed already all his decks. I think I'm going to go with a minor plus um, bets here. Maybe going to force out either Poison or the Tesla. But the evil bets are definitely going to be kind of annoying for him. And let's in the meantime go with a Goblin Stein here. Nice, we force out the Tesla. So Goblin Stein is going to be pretty um, yeah, good for us. Let's in the meantime go with Spear Goblins. And I'm going to prepare the ability. Let's go with the ability now and let's see what happens. So 1,261 HP... On the right side tower, we pop the ability and we leave his tower at 800 HP just with the ability and the Goblin Stein is still hitting it as well. I mean, honestly, it's kind of noticeable. I kind of do notice like a small difference, but overall, it's definitely still yeah, really, really strong in my opinion. Okay, let's wait a little bit. I think he's going to go poison exactly. I don't want to give him too much poison value. I just want to go with a Goblin Stein here in the meantime. We have the Evil Mortar. We can go with a Minor towards the right side. I'm not sure if he has Evil... I think he has Evil Skeletons available. So let's have the arrows ready. Uh, let's go arrows now. Maybe we can catch some skeletons. Oh, looks like he doesn't have the evil skeletons. Normal skeletons. Still an amazing arrows. We do end up catching the bomber. We do end up catching the skeletons. Can a card finish off the right side tower? And in the meantime, we also deal a lot of damage to the left side tower. So honestly, is it really nerfed, guys? I don't really want an opinion yet. We only played two matches. But it seems, in my opinion at least so far, still pretty strong. Okay, guys. 2-0 so far. First game, honestly, we didn't really win. Because of the Goblin Stein, second game, I definitely got some really nice connections and lots of damage thanks to the Goblin Stein. Let's see what happens in game number three right here against this player called Dario. Let's start off by cycling bets and I'm gonna go with mining here to tank for them. Okay, so Ghost could be a lot of stuff. Ghost most of the times means some kind of, I wanted to say bridge pen deck, but after seeing Hunter, I'm more leaning towards, um, I guess, a Royal Giant deck. So let's go with the Goblin Stein here on defense. Hopefully he doesn't have Lightning because if he does, um, he might go with it. It looks like he has a Sparky. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So Sparky, man, can we... Okay, I want to try something, guys. I want to go with Ability here, even though the Goblin Stein, I think, is not on the tower. I want to see how much damage we deal to the Sparky. I mean, honestly, that's a lot of damage. And the Goblin Stein, like the Doctor, even resets the Sparky, so it's going to fully counter it, fully trade it out. So in that situation, we yeah, definitely got a lot of value out of it. Okay, let's in the meantime go with a cannon card here on defense. He does have the Fisherman, but I think the Fisherman pulls onto the Mortar. And then we can go with the Goblin Gang here to distract, um, get both the Goblin Giant and the Fisherman. Well, our Cannoneer and the cannon card is dealing a, a lot of damage and value. Okay, looks like he goes with a Lock. I think I'm going to go with Bats here. I'm not sure if he has any other small spell. By the way, interesting to see a Lock in a Goblin Giant deck. Normally, it always runs like, yeah, Rage, Arrows, um, something like that. I normally never see Lock in the cannon card deck. So, that's going to be interesting to see. Or not in the cannon card deck, in a um, Goblin Giant deck. So I think I'm going to prepare my Mortar. If he goes with a Sparky up high, we could potentially go with a Goblin Stein like this. And hopefully reset it on time. Okay, looks like he does go with a Sparky. Please tell me that it's going to reset it. I'm honestly not sure now, right now. Wait, what? Okay, it's still... It should, but it's still got... Or like, it's still... Um, how do you say? Like, the Goblin Stein Doctor st should. But the Sparky still got a shot, uh, shot off as well. So definitely not how I expected it to turn out. But I guess it's fine. Let's in the meantime. I think we also need to go Goblin Game because if not... I think the Sparky was gonna um, get a connection, and man, that's unfortunate. My idea was nice, but the way it turned out was definitely not how I expected it to turn out. But anyways, let's continue pressure. Let's go with the cannon card. And wait a second, can't we just go with Goblin Stein here? I lowkey feel like this Fisherman is not even that good because it's gonna pull the Goblin Stein um, like next to the tower, and we can then just go with ability and get quite a lot of value here. Okay, nice. We got a good amount of damage. Like it's still. Almost fully kills the Fisherman. It does a good amount of damage to the tower. I honestly think that the um, yeah, Goblin Stein is still going to be very strong. And let me know what you guys think about it. But I definitely still see it being very meta and very strong. Okay, let's in the meantime go with a cannon card here. I think I'm going to go with Bats up high. And I'm not sure. I think I also need to distract with a Goblin Gang here. Man, Sparky is so scary. I honestly prefer to overspend on defense there. Rather than getting the Sparky connection and taking a, a ton of damage. Okay, looks like he goes with his Ghost. Let's go with Spear Goblins here. Off to the side, and I think I'm gonna go with a Goblin Stein as well. Okay, let's go with Goblin Stein. Should I keep other pressure? I think I should keep other pressure. Let's go with a Mortar here as well, and I'm gonna prepare the ability in case the monster. Okay, the monster does get to the tower, so let's see what happens, guys. I think it's gonna get a good amount of damage on top of the Goblin Giant, on top of the tower, and the Spark is also taking quite a lot of damage in the meantime, thanks to our Mortar. So definitely a winnable situation still, not the best, I guess, but I would say that it's still, yeah, as I said, a winnable situation for us. 
Okay, let's go with Spear Golems off to the side. Gunning card is going to get a lot of value. Let's in the meantime set up a Mortar once again. Offensively, let's go with Bets here as well. And I think I'm just going to get prepared for the Goblin Stein here. Offensively, okay. He does go with Evil Bets. I think those are Evil Skeletons. I think those Evil Skeletons should end up dying pretty fast. Let's in the meantime go with a Miner. Let's go with an Ability. And let's go with a Goblin Gang. Plus Spear Goblins. Knowing that he just spent the lock, I don't think he has anything to be able to stop all of our pressure cards, all of our spam cards. And we do end up overwhelming him in the end. So very nice W. So far, honestly, in my opinion, it's very strong still. I don't know what you guys think about it, but let's continue playing a couple of more matches. Okay, let's go, guys. Hoping into the next match. So, so far, as I said, in my opinion, it's still very strong. It's the first time for me, by the way, playing with it and playing against it. But so far, I honestly do notice a little bit of a difference. I'm going to be honest. Like, I do notice a small, for example, like time difference. For example, when it's on the tower. But overall... I don't know, man. I don't think it's going to change that much. I think the Goblin Stein is still going to yeah, just dominate the Clash Royale meta. And it's going to be seen in a lot of in a lot of different decks. Okay, this guy just went very aggressive. I'm not sure if he will be able to defend our double link push afterwards. Like, the Balloon made it to the tower, yes. But how are you going to defend this Goblin Stein double link push? I'm going to pop the ability here to try and take care of the bets as soon as possible. Also get more damage on the left side tower. And then he goes with the Ice Wizard, which is just going to yeah, get almost destroyed as well by our Goblin Stein. Okay, I don't think he should have that much elixir, to be honest. He spent a lot of elixir going offensively with the balloon and freeze. And he also kind of went with like a, a last second ice wizard. So as you guys can see, no elixir available for him. Mortar in the meantime does get it to the tower. We can go with bets. And I'm going to go with a miner here. Thanking for the bets. And I think that should be maybe tower down. Unless he has like a nade or something. But, bro, did you really just try to activate your king tower while I had bets going? Okay, I mean, I will take that. I will definitely um yeah let him do that because that means that we take the tower if he would have went with the nato like backwards like towards our side of the arena then he would have just defended it and we probably would have had to spend more elixir to be able to take down his tower but i guess this guy tried to activate the king tower to then afterwards deactivate or how do you even say that in english okay looks like he does have the goblin stein as well so it's going to be a goblin stein against goblin stein deck um let's in the meantime go with the cannon card and honestly i think i'm just going to go with our goblin stein here offensively okay what is he gonna do i think we can okay he goes with a pekka oh pekka let's go with an ability here as soon as possible to try and take care of the evil bats to try and damage the pekka a little bit more looks like he also goes with his own ability i'm just gonna go with spear goblins here off to the side and hopefully we do not lose the tower he was able to defend it pretty well by the way looks like we are also able to defend it i would say decently well and overall situation is still pretty good for us i guess Okay, is he gonna go with a um, balloon? There you go, there's the balloon. Let's go with a cannon card plus goblin gang. I feel like he's not gonna expect it because he still needs to um, get spent on offense. In this case, he goes with a tornado. He goes with um, ice wizard on defense. In the meantime, we can keep the pressure by going minor, by going spear goblins. His balloon is not able to take the tower. And I think we should be able to, I don't wanna say secure the victory because there's still 30 seconds left. But I think we do have um, a very good chance at winning right here. Okay, let's go with, I think just go with a Goblin Stein at the bridge, honestly, at this point. Like, how is he gonna, um, how is he gonna stop it when the P.E.K.K.A. is not available? We can go with a Goblin Gang here to distract the P.E.K.K.A. Let's in the meantime go with ability, the Bats plus the Cannoneer plus the Goblins are gonna DPS down his Evolution P.E.K.K.A. And I think we got the, um, yeah, victory secured here. Right side tower goes down. He still needs to take down our left side tower. In the meantime, we can just overwhelm him, spam him so much. This deck honestly has an amazing yeah, synergy. So many spam cards, bats, spear goblins, goblin gang, and the goblin stein, in my opinion, is still very, very strong. That's gonna be it for today's video. We went on a very nice win streak. We ended today's video on, um, I think it was a 4-0 win streak. So definitely, um, yeah, really nice video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this goblin stein. Do you guys think the nerf is gonna change anything? Or do you guys think Clash Royale is still gonna be yeah, dominated? by this new champion so hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to smack the like button if not subscribe to the channel yet feel free to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys